Hello there Star Wars collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Vel Sartha from the Andor series. Now this is the second figure in this particular wave that is from the Andor series. I recently reviewed Cassian Andor himself. Really really good figure that one if you haven't checked that video out it is on the channel along with all the other figures from this particular wave except for the Clatoonian Raider. I'm still yet to do him. So Vel Sartha is the character that leads the assault on the Imperial facility on Aldani, I think the planet is called. Really, really good arc in the series, really enjoyed it. And then later on in the series, spoiler alert, we find out that Vel Sartha is actually Mon Mothma's sister, I think, or is it cousin? I can't remember. I think it's sister. Um, awesome character lots of different outfits that she has in the show because obviously at first she's in her sort of poncho and everything and then she's in her like outfit that she's in now for the attack on the imperial facility and then later on we actually see her in like a like cocktail dress basically for the party and yeah she's got sort of lots of different sides to her basically really interesting character if you didn't like the andor show then that's fine i absolutely loved it now what i would say about this card back is that the figure in the bubble there seems to be a lot of space going on there she just has the one accessory which uh, looks very much like an ak-47 i remember when we first saw it is either the trailer or the episode itself and people were like why have these people got ak-47s and you can definitely see that the rifle that they've used is based on that and they've just sort of changed it up ever so slightly but it, it does look like an you know a, a weapon that would exist on earth that is for sure and also other people have also said that this figure the way she's dressed and because she does have that rifle almost looks like a gi joe figure but we're going to find out if that's the case we're going to open her up in a second and also have a good look at that head sculpt to see how accurate it is to the source material and to the character and there she is on that card back there i think she must be within that imperial facility there um, obviously that's like a promo shot that you've got there of her but she looks pretty cool as I say I love the series I love the character so I'm really going to enjoy this figure VC 262 in the line there's all the other figures as I mentioned I've reviewed all of them now from the wave except for the Clatoonian Raider so there we go then that's the card back let's open her up and check out the figure all right then so here she is out of the packaging in a pretty simple pose there just standing there holding her rifle she looks pretty cool i'm liking the sculpting on this figure and everything it's it's a decent looking figure it looks accurate to how she looked in the show at that point in time um, i do have a few nitpicks about the figure as always which i will get onto later on in the video and one of those is uh, part of the articulation um, but yeah, let's take a closer look at the figure. Let's check out the head sculpt and let's see how accurate it is to the actress. All right then, so here we have the figure up nice and close. You can see the sculpting and the photo reel of the head there. Now I've got to say that, you know, out of all the figures that we've had recently and the really good job that they've been doing with getting the likeness, you know, spot on, especially for a really small, you know, three and three quarter inch figure, I think this one, you know, they've, there's just something not quite right about it. I can't put my finger on what it is, but I just can't really see the actress in there. Even when you sort of turn it around here, sometimes you get a figure like uh, one of Ewan McGregor, for example, Obi-Wan, where it just doesn't look like him at all, but then you get it into one particular angle and you can really see it. I'm struggling to see it at all in this one. You know, I'm not saying it's a bad sculpt. It's a, it's a really, really good sculpt but I just don't think it really matches Vel Sartha from the show at that point in time. Uh, you can see there she's got her blonde hair in a high ponytail and the sculpting works really, really good on that. You can see some nice detailing on that and everything. She's got her brown leather jacket with again, some sculpting work on the buttons and the sort of collar and everything there. It really does look like a leather jacket that has, uh, they've done that really well, the way they've done that. You can see that she has her undershirt just poking underneath the leather jacket and you can just see some of that from the front as well and then she has her black trousers or pants if you want to call them that if you're from the states and her brown boots with some nice sculpting for the straps on the top there but i i can see what people are saying like you know she she kind of almost could look like a, a world war ii resistance fighter or something I'm getting that vibe. I'm getting I'm getting a vibe of, you know, it could potentially be a G.I. Joe figure. But at the end of the day, at this point of time in the show, they were a resistance outfit. They were on a heist mission, if you like, going in to steal um, all of those credits from the Imperial uh, facility and everything. So, you know, I guess that's kind of how they were dressed. But 
you know, the, the figure's outfit is accurate to the show, but at the end of the day, you know, the figure itself, you know, it just looks a bit generic is basically is what I'm trying to say. And yeah, I just can't really get over over that head sculpt. Having said all that, you know, I'm pleased that they've made this figure. I do like it. Unfortunately, it doesn't go with the Andor figure that we have. We are going to be getting the one in the Imperial Disguise as well coming up in the future, which is good. I do hope that we get more figures from Andor. I really do. The other members of the team, for example, that were also in those uh, disguises, that would be pretty cool if they did those. Luthan, there's, there's plenty that they could do. Um, but yeah, this is Velsartha, and we're just gonna go over the articulation. Just quickly, I want to show you the accessory. You can actually see that they have done the paintwork there, that little piece of paintwork there, the silver. That is accurate to the uh, you know rifle that she uses in the show and on the card back. But the rest of it is just like a gunmetal gray piece of plastic. But what I would say is that the stock here is actually a separate piece and it's articulated so you can take that off like that you can see it just falls off it goes on a little peg hole on that side and a little peg hole on that side so it makes it look even more like a rifle that you would get here on earth you can just see as you turn it around there there is a bit more detail on the inside of that blaster as well there's some extra silver detail in terms of the articulation the head is on a ball double barbell as usual with all of these new figures you get plenty of range of motion there the shoulders are on a ball hinge, so they go all the way round. You have the hinge at the elbow, but unfortunately you do not have any hinges at the wrist. And you can see there that she has the fingerless gloves there as well. No hinges at the wrist. And on this hand, you can see that her hand is actually positioned in such a way that it's like bent forward to hold that blaster. I'm guessing they're making these female figures so skinny these days that, you know, putting a hinge on that wrist will just break. And that's probably the reason why they haven't done it. The upper torso is on a ball there, so you get plenty of movement there. There is no waist, but you do have the hips, the new style hips. You have a split at the thigh, knee hinge there, and a rocker ankle. So there you go then guys, that is the review for Vel Sartha from the Andor series. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching as always. Be sure to check out the other reviews for this wave. They are all on the channel. As I said before, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my Patreon supporters and channel members, and we shall see you on the next one.